Welcome back. After his appearance in a Las Vegas courtroom, a former FBI informant charged with lying about bribery claims involving President Biden is out on bond today. Documents now reveal the informant says he got false dirt on Biden and his son Hunter from Russian intelligence. ABC's Perry Russell has more. This morning, the former FBI informant accused of making false bribery claims about President Biden and his son Hunter has been released on bond. Alexander Smirnoff is seen here in the blue hoodie, leaving court in Las Vegas yesterday. A judge released him under the conditions that he restrict his travel, hand over his passport, and wear an ankle monitor. Smirnoff is charged with lying to the FBI, claiming the Bidens accepted millions in bribes from Burisma, a Ukrainian energy firm. Federal prosecutors say Smirnov has now admitted that officials affiliated with Russian intelligence were involved in passing along that story, which prosecutors say was fabricated. House Republicans have used Smirnov's bribery allegation as a justification for their long-shot effort to impeach President Biden. If he volunteered himself, if he came to them and said, I can help you with this, that's another hallmark of Russian operations where they'll pick somebody and say, hey, go to the FBI or go to this organization, tell them that you have information, then we've got them on the hook. So yeah, this is all very, very consistent with how the Russian intelligence services do business. Meanwhile, this morning, the Biden administration says it's aware of a Los Angeles woman now being detained in Russia. Russian authorities arrested Ksenia Karolina, a Russian-American ballerina on suspicion of treason after she donated about $50 to support Ukraine. She could face 20 years in prison. Her former mother-in-law says Karolina was visiting Russia to see family. If we don't help her, we can say goodbye to her. If we do not protect her as an American citizen, nobody else will. It comes as President Biden promises to impose new financial penalties on Russia for the death of Putin critic Alexei Navalny. The sanctions are expected to target Kremlin defense industries and other revenue sources. We'll have a major package announced on Friday. Perry Russell, ABC News, Washington.